The Second World War brought darkness and cold to everyday life. Fuel was rationed, and families shivered in their homes, forced to find new ways to stay warm. In this hardship, a quiet wave of innovation emerged. Not flashy inventions, but clever solutions born of necessity. People repurposed blankets, insulated with newspapers, and learned to make do with what little they had. The make-do-and-mend mindset wasn't just about patching clothes, it was about reimagining survival itself. With modern comforts gone, people turned to nature's laws, observing how heat and air moved and how simple materials could be transformed. The challenge? How to heat a home without electricity or abundant fuel? The answer lay in using the power already present in nature, leading to ingenious non-electric heating systems. Even in the darkest times, human creativity became a beacon of warmth and hope. Enter the Thermosiphon, a heating system powered by nothing but gravity and heat. Its secret? Hot water rises, cold water sinks, a natural cycle called convection. A stove with a water-filled coil or tank became the heart of the system, connected by pipes to radiators throughout the house. As the stove heated water, it rose through the pipes to radiators, releasing warmth into each room. Cooled water, now heavier, sank back down to the stove to be reheated, creating a continuous silent loop. No pumps, no fans, no electricity just the laws of physics at work. Radiators placed in distant rooms spread the heat, making the whole house livable. The system was reliable, low maintenance, and perfectly suited for a world short on resources. Even today, the thermosiphon stands as a model of elegant, sustainable engineering. In times of scarcity, it turned a single fire into whole home comfort. The effectiveness of a thermosiphon system depended on smart design. The stove and water heater had to be at the lowest point, with radiators placed higher, often on upper floors. This vertical difference created the pressure needed for water to circulate naturally. Pipes were angled upward for hot water, downward for the return, ensuring smooth flow and preventing air locks. Wider pipes reduced friction, making the system more efficient without pumps. Every detail, from pipe slope to radiator height, mattered. With careful placement and simple materials, families could heat their homes with nothing but gravity and ingenuity. It was a masterclass in working with, not against, the forces of nature. Today, we rely on electric heating systems, fast, convenient, but fragile in a blackout. In contrast, a thermosiphon system keeps working as long as there's fuel for the stove. It's a resilient off-grid solution, ideal for survivalists, preppers, or anyone seeking energy independence. Building one is straightforward. A wood stove, a coil or tank, pipes and radiators are all you need. The process is timeless. Heat rises, circulates, cools and returns, no electricity required. This closed-loop system is sustainable, reliable and easy to maintain. It's a living example of self-reliance and practical physics. For those preparing for uncertainty, the thermosiphon offers true peace of mind. Its legacy is a blueprint for sustainable independent living. The wartime thermosiphon is more than history. It's a lesson in resilience. It shows that the simplest solutions, rooted in nature, are often the most robust. True preparedness comes from knowledge, not gadgets. Ordinary people facing hardship created systems that were efficient and sustainable. This spirit, seeing opportunity in adversity, remains vital today. 
The thermosiphon empowers us to take control of our needs, whatever the future holds. In every era, human ingenuity is our greatest source of warmth and hope. 